talked about the pay bill for the state's top elected officials and how it does not include what you wanted, an opportunity to reject raises. Right. And that bill does include raises for all the state's top elected officials three and four years out. So when that bill comes to your desk, will you sign it or will you veto it? No, I will, uh, well, first off, when it gets to my desk, I will make that decision. Uh, I'm not going to, I've got a long standing, with the exception of one bill, I don't think I've ever told you in advance what I was going to do with the bill. But I would say I think the legislature did the right thing. They, they held back uh, on uh, all of the officials. They cut back uh, on all the officials and uh, then allowed for, hopefully, uh, within the growth of the economy, uh, increases the third and fourth year out. Governor, the, the texting while driving bill got a lot of attention throughout the session and even sort of the last minute it, it got held up and didn't get passed. I just wondered your thoughts on that. Is that something that you supported or did not support? Well, I, I didn't, I have not read the bill. Uh, so I, I, I don't know exactly what the penalties are. I know that there was some concern uh, over the penalties that, uh, that were part of that bill. I do recognize that there is a problem. Uh, frankly, I don't text. Uh, I don't. I don't write messages uh, on, the, on, a, on a BlackBerry. Right here. And, but uh, I see a lot of people that do, and there is some concern there. And I think that'll be uh, that'll be something that will probably be taken up uh, in the future. Now that the session is over, what is going to be your next big focus that you're going to be working on? Getting this economy going. And can you talk a little bit about, uh, I, you probably can't give any specific names yet, but anything concrete yet? Have you heard from any companies unnamed that might be coming here? What, what have you got? We now have a, a, about, I'm going to say maybe a little over a year ago at the beginning of the, the previous session, we had had only 27 uh, opportunities within our pipeline. Uh, today we've got well over 100 in our pipeline. And people that are, and when I say opportunities, these are folks that have contacted the Department of Commerce or contacted a, a city or a county and said, we're interested in moving to Idaho. And, uh, that is when uh, our Department of Commerce kicks in. Uh, we then gather whatever information they need, how many megawatts of electricity do you need, what kind of a workforce do you need, what kind of utilities, uh, what kind of structure do you have to have in place in order to pick us as a site. We then identify those, try to identify those around the state, send that information to those locales around the state. They make the decision if they want to look at that company or have that company come and look at them. And then ours is in a support role. Uh, the, 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 the mayors and the county commissioners and those folks that make those decisions on a local level, our job, once we make the introduction, is to support them in their effort to get that company to come to their locale. 